Hey, Randy here with Canadian Energy. So we're here today to talk about choosing the right inverter. So what are the things that we need to consider? Uh, first of all, we need to consider, you know, who is the manufacturer of the inverter? Have they been around a long time? Are they a reputable company? And will they be around if we have issues down the road in a couple of years with the inverter? Take care of it if we, in the case of warranty. Is it a modified or true sine wave? What does that mean? True sine wave is essentially the same type of power that comes out of your wall outlet today. Modified is a, is a rougher or not as clean power. So you want a true sine uh, inverter to uh, run any sensitive electronics. Most, most larger battery based inverters today are true sine. Uh, modified being less expensive, so something to take into consideration and watch out for. Uh, input voltage is a consideration. Generally, uh, inverters are 12, 24, or 48 volts. Usually, the larger inverters, the higher output inverters, are 24 or 48 volt. Typically, the higher the voltage, the less amperage required to run the unit, um, which can mean smaller cable size, maybe slightly different battery size. And probably the biggest one is the output ratings, or how many watts or kilowatts the inverter puts out. So how many watts it puts out is going to depend on what you know what all you're running, what's the size of your system, uh, and, and that will be sized accordingly. So typically 2,000, 4,000, 6,000 watts. So how much how much does your does your system require? How much load you have on the system? That's going to determine the output rating. Always want to, better to have a little little more output than, than required, so you're not running your inverter at on a composite capacity all the time. And I'd say the last consideration, and, and more for off-grid application, would be the charger output, and most most uh, inverters have a charger built into them for, for battery-based renewable systems. So the higher the charger output rating, that would mean less generator runtime, or the quicker the recharge batteries. So a consideration for, for off-grid. So, uh, if you got more questions on these topics or want to find an installer or about more about products, please visit us at cdnrg.com.